Welcome back to this Tuesday edition of the Sports Max Zone. We turn our attention now to athletics. It was confirmed earlier Tuesday that a number of top-level international athletes will appear at the National Stadium in Kingston, Jamaica. This year's sixth staging of the Races Grand Prix set for the 1st of June. The most mouth-watering clash on the cards for the meet will be the men's side with... Uh, the confirmation that reigning world champion, the USA's Noah Lyles, confronts a field containing world championship bronze medalist jean L. Hughes and rising Jamaican sprinter Olipe Oblique Seville at this year's meet. An ecstatic Anguilla-born jean L. Hughes says he's relishing the competition. Many of us top sprinters, we try to avoid each other. Um, this is Olympic year, so there's no ducking. So for me, I'm excited to go there and race against these guys. Um, I know Oblique and I, I've been training pretty good, and we're looking forward to going out there and, you know, battling it out. At the end of the day, we are going to be good friends at the, but when we line up on the on the starting line, it's proper rivalry. Yeah, and John L has been a European champion at 100 and 200 meters. His training partner, Oblique Seville, at the Racers Club, shared similar sentiments about the matchup. I'm very excited to compete against him because he's a competitor. Both of us are, are very competitive, even in training at times, but... Off the track, we are good, but on the track, you know that when we go out there to compete, we are not friends. But after the race, everything is going to be okay. Yeah, Oblique Seville, a genuine rising star in Jamaican sprinting, just missing out on a medal of the last two world championships, fourth in uh, Eugene, Oregon, and fourth in Budapest as well. But uh, they're up against a man, Noah Lyles, uh, Mariah Ramharak, that is the world's best at the moment. He's a reigning champion not only at 100, but 200, and he was predominantly regarded as a 200 meter specialist but now he's the best at 100 as well yeah so what that tells you is this graces grand prix we're in plans for an exciting treat who is going to win will be the question because both candidates are extremely mouth-watering and i think it's a difficult one to call what i do know is lovers of this sport and of course you know lovers of track and field would be glued in to see this matchup yeah, well, Lyles will be the favorite, that's for sure. And he is a champion. He has a lot of confidence. And he is he considers himself the, the successor to Usain Bolt's dominance that he, you know, just hovered over the track and field world since his 2008 Beijing exploit straight to his retirement in 2016. But Lyles has that kind of, of self-belief and, and confidence when he takes the world stage that he feels that the world is watching him. He is the man that is on show, and he's, he's there to give a show. And I think he's good for track and field. I think his personality attracts people to the sport, and he's very outspoken as well. Yeah. And um, says things sometimes that will rile up people from time to time. But that's good for the sport. He, it is good for the sport. It attracts attention to his sport, and he sees himself as a flag bearer for, for the sport that, that pays him. And uh, I think he's coming to Jamaica to show um, the Jamaican fans his quality and um, that he's the best in the world. How do you think the turnout is going to be? I, I saw the ticket prices came out earlier today. Ricardo posted it in our, our work group. Do you think it's going to be a massive turnout? Now that the excitement is going to build up with the type of competitors. Yeah, well, the names will attract the, the, the fans. And because this is an Olympic year, I think the appetite for track and field is, is going to be very high for the sport at this yeah. time and I think remember that will, Olympics yeah that's that's gonna be a huge part of what makes the races Grand Prix uh, a big event and an event that people will want to see and um, I think the crowds will turn out I think so too when I was looking um, I think the tickets go on sale online on May 1st and then also at the Pegasus Hotel one of our sponsors they will also have tickets on sale so I'm looking forward hopefully we can go check it out yeah all right break time Break time here on the Sports Zone.